In this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the process of grading and providing feedback on submitted assignments within Moodle. So as the instructor, you'll want to open up your course and go to the assignment in which you'd like to grade and provide feedback to your students on. Once you open up the assignment at the very bottom, you will notice you have different options here. It'll tell you how many participants you have, how many have submitted, and how many need grading. And if the assignment is not um, due yet, it'll tell you how much time is remaining. If you want to see all the submissions, you can go ahead and view all submissions. On this screen, you will see all of your students, the status of their submission, an option to grade, and over on the right, you will see their file submissions. In the upper right, you do have an option here to download all of the submissions if you'd like to keep a copy for yourself. And then grading options up here, you have an option to see the gradebook or to upload multiple feedback files from a zip file if you want to. I'm going to go ahead and click the back button and talk about the other option when you open up the assignment. The other option is to grade. If you click on grade, this will open up your PDF to um, be able to come in here and grade. One thing that you'll notice is up in the upper right hand corner, you have a little filter icon. If you click on this, you can actually filter what types of submissions you would like to view. So I only want to view the submitted files. If I click on that, I will then now see the paper for Diane Paul. So within here, if she has submitted a PDF file, I can view that PDF file right here within my window. If I wanna change users, I can navigate forward to the next user or back to a previous user. You'll notice over on the right, I can download her PDF file here. I can see comments, I can add in a comment, and I can also see comments that she might've added when she submitted. If I want to add a comment here, I definitely can. This is not part of the grading feedback. This is just comments. Maybe, you know, you have an error in line four, please resubmit. You can definitely add in comments like that. Down here is where you're going to grade and provide feedback for the student. So here it tells you it's a grade out of five points. You want to go ahead and grade your student accordingly. Feedback comments can be listed here, so this can be put into a text information. You can also add in images, you can upload a file, you can also upload links if you want to. This is really helpful if maybe you create a video tutorial showing them what you liked and did not like about their paper, you could then link that within here. You can also add in an audio file if you want to. So a lot of different options for comments on feedback. If you check the feedback file when you are actually creating your assignment, you can upload a file here. So maybe you download this, you turn on track changes. If it's a Word document and you make changes, you can then re-upload that file here. Down at the bottom, will you allow another attempt for the student? You can go ahead and choose that. This again is an option when you're setting up your assignment. A couple other things that you have down in the lower right-hand corner is how you're viewing this window. So collapse the preview window will only show our option to grade and provide feedback. The middle option will then allow me to preview if it is a PDF file to be able to see it and be able to grade it at the same time. And the last option over on the right will allow me to actually annotate on top of this PDF. Now this is a PDF file which allows me to view it and then I can annotate on top of it. These features are not real exquisite, but they are kind of handy. You can add in a post-it note if you want to and here's where you can choose the color of your post-it note and then you can add a post-it note and add in any type of comment post-it note to the paper. As students hover over it, they'll see the comments there. The hand will allow me to move things around. The arrow, same thing, I can select things and I can also delete out um, those particular items here if I wanna delete out comments. I have different writing utensils so I can squiggle and you know, I like this. If you wanna change any information here, you can definitely change that with the pen color right over here. So if you don't want to have it in red, you want to have it in green, you can definitely do green squiggles. You can also do lines, you can do squares, and you can do circles. You can also change your highlighter if you want to highlight different pieces of text. So you can change your pen color and then highlight different parts of their paper if you want to using the highlighter tool. The last option here is a stamp tool and you have different stamps here. So you can do a frowny face, smiley face, check mark, or red X. So if you want to have a stamp here, you can then tell your students you didn't like this or this, but you can go in here and check and you really like this. So 
this annotated PDF will then be part of their assignment when they go in and they look at their grade, they will see this annotated PDF file. At this point, if you wanna save your changes, you can go ahead and save your changes. It'll save this PDF file. If you wanna save and go to the next student, you can save and go to the next student, or you can reset to clear out any of the information here. Keep in mind your options down here. If you click on the middle one, you'll see the annotated PDF options here and a place for feedback and grading down here.